Yeah, but this is the river. I know y'all seen me do a couple of videos here before. Yeah, it's been a few, few not a few months, I think. Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today's topic is called, We Y'all Get That From? Now, I was trying to not talk about this topic. I had it in my, wild, my brain for a while, and I was trying to pretty much avoid it. I don't really know why, but, you know, I was trying to avoid it, but, yeah, I see so many people do it, and don't think nothing wrong of it. Now, when I see, okay, I, I know people do it from the world's perspective, but it's a lot of saints that do it as well, and don't think nothing's wrong of it. Now, what I mean by that is, where I get that from, is a lot of times I hear people say, I'm going to say, for instance, the number eight, it represents the number of completion. But you have to ask yourself, where's y'all getting that from? And if you look at it, a lot of times, not majority of times, people get those numbers about completion and all this stuff from stuff they heard or what you call it, numerology. I said it in uh, Conduct, I touched base on this, what was it called, What Is Your Sign, I think it was called, I touched on that, but I'm just going a little bit more in depth, God is against anything dealing with numerology, uh, the constellation of the stars, counting the constellation of the stars, zodiac signs, oh my sign is, oh I, I, I match good with a, 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 a Libra, a G Gemini, a, Oh, my son, God is against all of that. All that is not of God. And when a person said, oh, this number means such and such, nine times, like I said, nine times out of ten, they're pretty much getting that from numerology. Now, usually when I refer to a number, because sometimes I see a number and I refer to that number as a sign, I'm going to say, for instance, if I see the number 320, 320 comes from comes from Ephesians 320 and when God says um to, to him who is able to uh do exceedingly and abundantly things all you can think of acts for something like that that's one of my favorite scriptures now that's what I, um when I say a, a sign I think I'm also to um I think I did a video called mark my words and I referenced mark 829 now the reason why I, I that, that number stuck out to me, 829, because 829, I don't like when cars just sit there and they, they don't get out of the car, they do like they just waiting on you. <laughs> I'm just waiting too. <laughs> but um, yeah, the reason why 829 stuck out to me, because my birthday is on 829, August 29th, and, but I didn't just go by my birthday's on 829. I think I seen Mark 829. So I said, let me read the book of Mark and 829. But the reason why I read it, like I said, is because 829 is my birthday. So I still reference Mark from the Bible, 829 from the Bible. So what I'm telling y'all who do the exact same thing, we y'all seen the Bible where it says 8 means completion. Do God say, sometimes in the Bible it's not going to say, Oh, God said, thou, the number eight means completion. <laughs> it's not going to say that a lot of times. I can't remember where I left off at because it cut me off. But, uh, yeah, if it's not biblical, then you shouldn't be, you feel me? You got to wonder, like, is this numerology or is this, like, man-made stuff? You got to look into that and be careful because you might be dibble dabbling and that's witchcraft. All that numerology, zodiac side, and all that stuff, that's witchcraft. So, you got to be careful regarding that. So, Yeah, I wanted to finish it up before it, when it cut me off. I was skimming, for example, okay, like we, a lot of people say eight means completion. Okay, now I see if it's said in the Bible, um, on the eighth day that such and such was created. Or... God said it was finished or it was done. And then we reference, okay, eight is completion. And then somebody might ask you, okay, why do you say eight is completion? And then you use that reference. And the Bible, it says that such and such was built on the eighth day or something like that. 
then I will see. But if you're getting the completion of eight from something else that's totally contrary to the Bible, then you have to realize that's witchcraft and that's not of God. So I had to put that out there. And as for saints as well, because a lot of saints do this and don't do nothing's wrong with it. So if you're doing it, then you might want to stop. Y'all have a blessed day, okay?